Ladies and gentlemen, okay, the day is finally here. It is none other than the official launch day of Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I thought, you know what? To celebrate the official launch, the day it came out, I give my friends over at Chaos Cards a phone call and I'm like, dude, I'm running a series. It's called Search for the Gold and we're looking for just one gold card in particular, Golden Zacian. So the absolute legends actually sent us an entire Pokemon Sword and Shield booster case to help us out. So if you guys need any Sword and Shield products, I've got a 5% off discount code that I'll link in the description. Make sure you go check them out. They are literal legends and they're always helping out the channel, but I've never actually seen this before. What does a Pokemon Sword and Shield booster case look like? These are about to be the most epic videos ever. Holy smokes, this still gets me. Let's try and get this out without... Oh no, oh no. All right, so if you don't know what a uh, booster case is, basically it's made up of six booster boxes and it's what they send to the stores like Target, Walmart, you know, all the big giant suppliers. But somehow, we have got six entirely sealed Pokemon Sword and Shield booster boxes right here. And in today's video, I'm going to open every single one. And we're just going to start opening booster packs. And hopefully we find the Gold Zacian. And the point that we do find the Gold Zacian, whatever remaining booster packs I have left, I'm going to give them away. Alright, box number one. Let's get the uh, seal of approval off this bad boy. And we're going to start to build a booster pack four. My favourite kind of four. do an HD montage of like what it looks like because I think the word bananas is not quite summing it up. This is wild. Um, guys, in, in front of you the right there, on the unboxing table, is 216 Pokemon Sword and Shield boosters. If I cannot find the gold card of Zacian in here somewhere, I may just jump out the window because I get that mad. But look at this. This skate ramp style thing is exactly 216 boosters. That's something Tony Hawk should be jumping off, not something we should be opening on the channel. But you guys are always down for these long openings. Everyone always just like so much love, demolishes the like button. And as I say, as long as these like episodes of Search of the Goal get 3,000 thumbs up, the next day we've got to do another episode. We've got to keep hunting for it until that magical day arrives where Uncle Ando pulls the Golden Zacian card and I complete my collection. Oh, that would have been so good if we got it on the very first booster. Anyway, I suppose it wouldn't be too, uh, too fun. Although it would be pretty good for you guys, because as soon as I pull that gold Zacian, I'm giving the rest of these boosters away. It doesn't matter if I got like, you know, 215 left. Doesn't matter if I got one left. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna give the rest away because that's just generally the rule. Once I've got what I'm looking for, you guys need some as well. And I hate to say it, but the past two times I've tried to look for something in these like massive booster pack stacks, I never found it. I never got what I was looking for. I think by the end of each one, we used all the boosters and I had to buy like another booster box. But I reckon this is different. I've just got a feeling. We've already got Golden Zamazenta. So I know it's possible to go and find that gold card. I know it's in here somewhere. It's just got a really small ratio. Someone was telling me, and I think this is right. If you open up a, just a normal booster box, if you go to the store, open a normal booster box of this set, you have a 3% chance of getting a gold card. I mean, I don't want to say that's terrible, but it's not the best. But you know what? It's still better than 1% and still better than 2%, but 3% is definitely still down there. Now, this was a white and green. I wonder if our first pull can be, like, you know what? A Celebi V. I would take that as well, because that's another card I'm dying to get. Flip bug, and then... Oh, my! Dude! On the... What is that? The third of the second booster pack in? We've got a pull! Money! Full art! Oh, lads, this is going to go off. You know what? Booster boxes in this set are already absolutely insane. And then we're going to open an entire case of Sword and Shield. This is going to be really interesting. Like, I wonder what the ratio of a Sword and Shield case is. How many full arts? How many ultra rares? How many gold cards? 
Are you guaranteed both the gold cards per case? If I'm gonna start off an opening like this, you wanna get a full up Marnie like we did there. Oh, dude, alright. I'm gonna start a pile right here. I'm gonna sleeve all those... What the... I can fill the cards and move around this pack. I'm gonna sleeve up everything and then we'll do the world's best recap. If you haven't seen these massive openings I do, the recap's probably always the most fun part. I try to display everything, like all the hollows. Dude, this is so stuck. What the flip? I think they tried to get heaps of gold cards in there and they couldn't fit it. Um, hopefully this is a good booster. But yeah, the recap's always fantastic. Probably my favorite part of these videos. But the only downside to doing like a huge opening like this, there's a lot of bulk to get through. But you guys are always so supportive. You love like, dude, I don't mind sitting through the bulk, which means the world. Here we go, reverse energy search. No way! Oh my god, it's a flipping gold card! Dude, I'm gonna need resuscitation. I've gotta calm down. I have 20,000 boosters to keep going, but it's another. Oh my goodness. All right, everyone just needs to calm down for a minute, okay? Little Timmy, sit back down in your high chair. We've got an air balloon, which is like a red balloon for our gold card. I saw the gold and I thought it was it. I thought we just completed the entire set and I was gonna give these, like, all these away. Trust me when I say gold cards in Pokemon Sword and Shield look so much better than any gold card they've printed before. Like, they've perfected the art of adding glitter, adding layers. If you look at the card in different light, you get different, like, reactions to the glitter. This is unreal. Okay, Air Balloon, Fuller, Golden, Sick Rare. A card I haven't even got before. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not done- Like, this isn't set up either. This is 100%. I got the boosters. You saw it out the case. Unbox the booster box. And now, this is happening to me. The only thing I'll say is I have jumbled them up a little bit, you know? So the chances are, like, th this is out of multiple different boxes. Okay, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Fighting type, Pokemon Catcher, Haunter, Score Bunny. This is absolutely so much fun. We have to do more Bulk Sword and Shield. No way! Oh my! Everyone stay calm. Pokemon Full Art Trainer, Professor's Research. I haven't even got that one either. That's a hat trick. That's legitimately a hat trick of Full Arts. Maybe I need to frame these boosters in a museum because they're cursed. Let's do another one. Let's let's test out the luck in another one. Professor's research full art. After a golden air balloon, after a full art Marnie. Yo, I would take a full art Zacian. That's another card I need. Dare I even ask for a white and green? Oh my goodness, what the heck is happening? This is too much epicness for like one individual video. Wooloo! Stop looking at me with your cute little eyes! Glip bug? Then we got Glaring Meowth and a Roserade regular rare. It was too good to be true. <sighs> Four full arts, I think, in, uh, you know, the first five minutes probably would knock me sideways. But let's keep going. We got Snorlax V Max card. I still need the regular full art version. I somehow managed to get the full glitter version, which was like one of the most gorgeous looking cards ever. I'm still actually thrown off by what just happened. I love that we just didn't get, you know, a bunch of hollows, you know, whatever. We just went 0 to 100 so fast. Got two full arts and a gold card. Not even the goal we're looking for, but hey. I couldn't care less. It's a card that I actually don't have, and this is actually a set. If you haven't seen my binder update, that's worth checking out. Go watch that. Because this is a set where I'm legit trying to complete the entire thing. I want to do, if like, say we find the Golden Zassian really fast, I legit want to keep opening the set and try to complete it. I think we can do it. We're not insanely off it, and the fact we're like getting those full arts now, I think this is going to be a really big step forward, this whole boost case opening and completing the set. Yampa reverse, and then... Oh, nice! Kildeo V card! Don't think I've even got this one either. Dude, that looks epic! And, oh, by the way, if you, this is your first, like, Sword and Shield opening, go back on the channel. Watch my previous ones, because this isn't my first time seeing the set, but the V cards are, like, slightly embossed. So if you're, like, trying to compare this set to maybe, like, a, I don't know, X and Y, Sun and Moon, the EXs and GXs are really not that much alike with the V cards, because the V cards, they've put a little bit of extra effort into it. They made them, like, slightly more embossed. They've got a black border. They've got the V symbol. 
But then the gold cards and the glitter cards, they are so unlike a rainbow rare. They look beautiful. In my opinion, they've really stepped up the game with like making more high quality ultra rares. Like when you get an ultra rare, you get an ultra rare and you're really happy about it. Elder Gloss. Let's go quick. Oh, Quick Ball's another one. Apparently that's like a really sought after gold card. Wooloo. When's Wulu getting a gold card? Let's start a petition. Change.org. Wulu to get a gold card. And our first holo. I love how this set just gives you like ridiculous stuff. And you, oh yeah, probably should give you a holo. There you go. Okay, Gengar holo card right there. Can you guys even see me making a dent? Or am I just pulling blue specs out of thin air here? Because I'm working off the top and I think I'm trying to like, work my way down there. Put you to the side, gee whiz. And you guys can officially cash all the codes in now because I opened a couple of boxes before the set came out. And I think there's a few issues when you're trying to cash code before the set comes out. But now, look at that, look at that. We got that in the secret rare form. But now you're all good in the hood. Jumper, jump for joy, cash all the ones in. You can probably go back throughout my old openings, try to cash those in too. Mudsdale regular rare. Zamazenta. Come on, something, someone's got to contain the goods. Maybe I'll start pulling from like the middle part. Maybe the middle section might have a couple of good ones. You know what I really also want? Just Celebi V card. If I could just pull a, you know, casual looking Celebi V, I wouldn't be complaining because then I can complete the first slot in my binder that's still blank. Celebi V is the number one card in the whole set in terms of like numbering, and I haven't got it. I mean, it's... It's kind of the way, there's always that one card, I'm going to go from the middle, there's always that one card when you're trying to collect a set you can't get that everyone seems to pull around you. For me, that's Celebi V. In the past, it's always been Ultra Rares, like, I don't know, Rainbow Rare Charizard or something. Oh, come on, this one's really glued together. Oh, it's always so fun when you get, like, a glued together booster pack, and then it's a white and green. Because that means, like, the Pokemon Center is, like, sort of sealed it shut for good reason. Okay, Stunfist, Raboot as well, Roselia. Ferro Seed, Krabby. So I don't know if we should grab from the middle because it might be bulk, but I know if we should grab from the middle because that's where, you know, we might have a random hit. Let's go from this side. It's a Zacian. Is that telling us something? Hopefully. Oh, it'd be so sick if I could finally pull the card on like the first ever episode of these ridiculous openings. Rather than getting like a <laughs> hundred and something boost packs in and being like, oh, still going. We got a double right there. We got a switch. So what are you guys thinking? I should ask you guys. What do you think of Sword and Shield? How's your luck been? I've actually got a lot of tweets. You guys have had really, really good luck. Wow. Second regular rare. We're going back from the top. So everyone's like, I've seen a couple people pull a gold card. I feel like I've seen a lot more people pull Golden Zamazenta than I have Golden Zacian. Zacian seems like the tougher ones to pull. And I think going off eBay prices as well, Golden Zacian's about double its price. Maybe even a little bit more. So... Maybe? I, it feels weird, like, why would they put more Zamazentas in the boosters than, like, Zacians? I feel like it'd be very even, but in my opinion, that's what I've seen. A lot more people have got that golden Zamazenta. But I've seen a couple of people get the uh, full art version of Zacian as well, and that's another card I am dying to get. If I could get full art like anything, I really do believe these full arts in this set look bonkers. In person too, even better, trust me. Got a Yampa, got a gr oh, got a Grookey. Q-Fart, Baltoy, Rillaboom Reverse. Dude, what is it? Oh, nice. Sableye V-Card. We have doubled up. But I have got a like whole page and a whole section ready at the back of my binder for doubles. So, dude, V-Card's a V-Card. Brand new style. It's our base set right here. So this is like the first time you're pulling a lot of these V-Cards. So uh, it's first like official launch. And it's also really exciting because... I think today or tomorrow in Japan, a brand new like Sword and Shield set comes out. So like, we're in the swing of it right now, guys. We're officially cranking out the Sword and Shield TCG products, and it's so exciting. Ordinary Rod, Hitmonlee, and I'm seeing a lot of people get back into Pokemon cards. Like, you know what? I skipped the last generation, or maybe they skipped two generations. We did, didn't do X and Y, skipped over Sun and Moon, but I'm jumping in with Sword and Shield, and I'm like, that is amazing, because they like the artwork, or there's like... I don't know, maybe they saw a new design, they really liked the new design of a Pokemon or something. So it's really cool seeing like everyone new getting into the TCG. Maybe you guys have seen like your friends get back into it they haven't collected in a while. Raboot, Sudowoodo, Hop, Krabby, got a Minchino as well, Ponida, Cottony, here we go, Score Bunny, Garuki Reverse, and Turdinator. Lighten the floor and fire with his lava mouth. Snorlax VMAX, let's do that bad boy. 
What should we aim for this episode? How far should we get? I kind of want to just do this in two parts, you know? 100 boosters in each part, and then pull it around where I got 17 left I can give to you guys. That's goals. Alright, I reckon we should go to like, about here. If I can get like this done, that'd be a good part. Then we'll just do the whole bottom layer and the second to top layer tomorrow. So we got Sobble, then we got Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Q-Fun, and then... Oh, nice! It sucks because that is a beautiful card, but again, something we've already got. Hey, I'm not mad at all. Look at the rainbow in the background of Full Art Sable IB. And ironically, that's another Full Art card, which is bananas. Oh man, this is, this is literally the definition of how they've tried to improve the artwork, because everyone was complaining about a sterile background, how there's always just a plain colour, and that was a Full Art card. And now they've got rainbow swells going on, different patterns. Sable IV is Gorgeous, especially that full art. Can I just point out the ratio of like how many full arts have we pulled so far? We got one, two, three, four, four full arts, two V's, one hollow. Oh my goodness, one of those full arts is a gold card as well. Oh, I've peaked. I think I've peaked. I think after this, I've got to retire off YouTube because there's no opening that's going to ever be better than this one right here. Got a Metal type energy, Pokemon Catcher, Haunter as well. And then we get a Volpix, and then a Bowtoy, Chinchou, Wooloo Reverse, not too bad, and a Snorlax. Anytime you get a Wooloo, I'm fine. You know what? It's always going to be a not too bad because I'm still trying to shiny hunt Wooloo in the actual game. I'm going to get the shiny charm still. Has anyone completed their entire Pokedex on Sword and Shield and got the shiny charm? I swear I know a bunch of people that's done it already, and it gets me so sad because I'm still working towards it. I'm gonna do it though, because I want my shiny Wooloo. Alright, we're gonna Wooloo again. There we go. And then, Marnie Holo card. Marnie Ultra Rare in that like glitter rainbow form. That is a card. Oh, that would just be the icing on the cake. If I can get that today, it's gonna be a good day. Hopefully, you guys can get it in the codes there. Four from the back. Swing it around. Darkness type energy. Got an incense. Salazzle. Bishop. Rookity. Krabby as well. Grookey. Then we got Grookey Gang, <laughs> yep, but apparently Grookey Gang's one of the lowest. It's Sobble Squad. Who would have thought Sobble Squad is the most popular starter? Definitely not me, that took me by surprise when I googled it, and it's like, Sobble's the most picked starter, then it's, um, Score Bunny, and then it's Grookey. I hate to say it, because I know how many Grookey fans are out there. Minchino, Volpix, Muna, Roselia, and then Dreadnought, regular rare. Dreadnought's a beast, man, I love him. Oh, grab two boosters off the top. I gotta clean all this up. There's so many Pokemon cards everywhere. Next big giant pool will clean the entire desk up. Four from the back. Swing it around. We got Metal Type Energy right here. Then we grab two. We got Dotler, Potion, Hitmonchan, Ghastly, Rookady. What do you guys think it is? Could it possibly be another full art? Nah, that's too much. Galarian Perserker in that regular hollow form. Put you right there. It's good. We need more holos, boys. <laughs> Somehow, we've got way more full arts and uh, V cards than we do holo cards. Again, that's classic sword and shield by the looks of it. And also just clicked, I'm going to give away 216 code cards over the next two days. If you don't thumbs up the video for Santa Claus right here, I feel like that's a pretty good reason. 216 codes, wow. How much, I wonder how much a good old code card sells for nowadays. I remember back in the day, you could probably sell them for like 50 cents each, but I don't think it'd be anywhere near that nowadays. Here we go, another white and green. Okay, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Everyone concentrate! Golden Zassian! We got a Sea King, we got a BD as well. Minchino! Cotney! Score Bunny, get out of here. Yampa Reverse! And then Wabathet V Card, my first ever V pull in the entire Sword and Shield set. Like, this is it. You can just hear him saying his name through the card, can't you? <laughs> He just He's always got that expression, like he's always trying to say his name or something. Anyway, I'll take it. Another V-card right there. My first ever one, doubled up. Let's keep it going. I'm going to start, actually, to do a couple from this side. I just feel like we've exhausted the really epic amount of pulls on this end. Let's go from the other end. Do a couple of, like, Zassian artworks. Try to train Arceus as to what we're trying to pull. You're going to let him know sometimes. Okay, Cotney, Score Bunny. Here we go, Silicobra, Cloyster, and then Whimsicott. Okay, where's my Zassians at? There we go. Get you off the top. Please, oh please, let me get something. Oh, it's a solid green again. 
I really hate the fact they do those. They should have changed the code cards to white and green on everything. I know it's probably to do something with the factory and like the way they can't stuff it up otherwise. Because if you had the same color and they're all different weights, it would just be so much of a pain to try and like put into different boosters. Just I guess it sucks for me when I try to do the card trick and everything. But I feel like if you're a normal collector, I do, is this how you open your booster? Like that, you'd see this and then you just do this? Because when I was a kid, that's how I used to always do it. Because my mum would something, if I did all my chores in one week, on Monday morning, she'd drive to the local newsagent and I was allowed one booster. It was either a Yu-Gi-Oh! or it was a Pokemon booster. Always pick the Pokemon. Some days I was like, you know what? I'm doing the Yu-Gi-Oh! this morning. I'd always be disappointed because I didn't really understand what was going on. But, I'd get my booster and I feel like this is how you guys open up as well. Or do you like do the card trick like me? I only do the card trick because it's like way more entertaining that way. But like if I was a kid, I feel like I'd be opening it like that. Wait, wait, let me know in the comment section below. How do you open your boosters? Because there's no, you know, right or wrong way. If you look at the, <laughs> if you look at the online um, TCG, I'll show you in a second. The way they rip theirs open with the little animation is so dumb. Psychic type energy. I don't think you can even literally open it the way they tell you to open it on that website. Chinchow, Krabby, Minchino. Here we go. Ponida, Thwacky, Gengar again. Doubled up on the Hollow. So if you like get a code card, you type it in your game and you claim the code, get the booster. The virtual little hand or your mouse, you drag it across here, so he like rips it. You couldn't rip this, look it's all sealed up, you have to grab it by an end. He goes, shh, and then this, I don't know, it's not a thing, you can't do that. Put you to the, oh no. But, uh, you know what, you don't get a code card with a colour when you do open it online though, I'll give you that much. It's a complete surprise to you pop open the last two cards. The reverse and the regular rare. Or the gold card, hopefully. That's unreal. I can't believe we put a gold card at the start of this video. I mean, fair enough, maybe in the middle, but yo. This gets me so curious as to like, what is a ratio for a booster case? What do you guys think? How many gold cards? Do you reckon it's one gold card per box so we end up getting six gold cards? That's not saying we're going to get six, like, either Zamazenta or Zacian. It's six different, like, ones, trainer cards, because there's a lot. I mean, like, there's a lot of gold cards in the set, in terms of, like, trainers. There's a lot of full arts, too, but we haven't got a... We've got a good amount of full arts, but we haven't got a lot, a lot. So hopefully a couple more. But hopefully just a sell of UV, let's be honest. Open you up. Oh, here we go. This is the time to shine, boys. Fourth from the back. I really got to tidy all this stuff up. We got a metal type energy, got a heat more, metal saucer, quick ball, Grookey, hashtag Grookey gang in the comments right now, Honida, Sobble, Dreadnought Reverse, and then more Pico VMAX! That's a good way to end it, this is a banger, again it's a double, but yo, this thing up close, again, there's so many things, there's like a tornado of rainbow randomness behind him, it looks awesome and majestic all at the same time, anyway, I'm gonna tidy all of this stuff up here, it's an absolute mess, I'm going to sort out the uh, recap pile because it's getting really thick right now. And let's get, let's keep the party going. This is actually a lot of fun. Alrighty guys, if you haven't done your seatbelts up, now is the time to do those bad boys up. Make sure, I know little Johnny, you don't have a seatbelt in your computer chair, but it's time to install one because this first boost pack back is going to have the goods. It's going to contain the gold card 100%. And then the rest of these boosters, I'm just going to give away to you guys. Or it could be a solid green code and we get absolutely nothing. But, that's okay. The next one, 100%. And also, I was having a look. The ratio at the moment is we've got one VMAX card, three full arts, three V cards, a full art gold card, and a regular rare. No, we've also got three holo cards. But when I look at that, that is insane because we've got an equal amount of full arts compared to V cards. That never happens on these big openings. Usually it's like a stack of hollows to start with. Then it's usually like a stack of regular GXs or EXs. The ratios in these booster boxes are that good in Sword and Shield. I don't know what they did to it. But you're guaranteed 100% to get more fuller cards than you are regular ones. Because even if you don't count the VMAX or the gold cards, equal amount full arts and V cards. And then you go and pull another V banger. This time it's Snorlax. It's still... Dare I say it, it's still not a Celebi, but you know what, I'm gonna take a double up Snorlax right there. That brings our total count up to four different V cards. Come on, it's, you know what? 
I would 100% recommend you go get this set, go to the local like Walmart, Target, whatever you can find, and pick up a booster, test your luck out, because I've actually never had a more fun time opening this set as I have like all throughout all the booster boxes, the ETBs and blisters I've opened with this set. It's been a lot of fun, and the pull rates have been absolutely amazing. Got Mudbury right there, then we've got none other than a Frostmoth Holo card. There's a uh, new like Sword and Shield set out in Japan, right? And there's a golden cigarette shiny frost moth everyone wants. Like, I've seen it all over tw Twitter recently, so I think that's a card we're gonna have to hunt for, the golden shiny frost moth when we get the new set, but yeah, it's interesting. He's got a holo card in the set, so frost moth might be the new Tapa Coco for the Pokemon company at the moment. They love him. Seeking reverse and a whimsical regular rare. I think it's doable though. I've actually never been more confident in the fact we're actually going to find a gold card. I think it's because we got that golden Zamazenta. It's just giving me so much hope. It's like, you know what, Ando? You can 100% going to get that gold Zacian. And that makes me recommend it to you guys because some sets, like, you know, with the Rainbow Rare Charizard at Unbroken Bonds, Inteleon Reverse, and then Regirock V! This is a really, really good start. We're just ticking off, you know, a couple Vs, warming us up. It's giving us that pre-game massage. Put that one there. Look at this. Now we've got five different V cards. Oh no, there's been a collapse. The damn collapsed. That's all right. I've got to open all those boosters anyway, I think. So I think what we're going to do today is I'm going to open all the collapsed boosters and then this line up here. Then tomorrow it just leaves us with two stacks to finish off. I think we can do this. Thanks again to Chaos Cards for sending all of this out. I, <laughs> I couldn't imagine in my wildest dreams opening up a booster case and being like, you know what? Let's find out what a ratio is if you opened up an entire booster case of Sword and Shield. Like, that's nuts. And the fact we get to do it on the channel is the coolest things ever. And I love the... Okay, I did the card trick wrong there, but... Must have been a regular rare, I guess. But I think it's really cool that we do get to do things like this. And you guys always show the support. Okay, open that one up. And it's another solid green. No way. There's a very limited amount of regular rares I still need to get for my binder, guys. Oh, that's okay. We got a Glossopher, Silicobra, Yampa, Wooloo Reverse, and a Lapras. Everyone say it with me. A regular rare. I'll start doing these boost packs that collapse to the side. Maybe they'll just that heavy. With like gold cards, V cards, and you know, a couple of random hollows. They all just fell over. It's like, you know what? It's too much effort being this heavy. Too much effort having this many good cards inside. Ferrothorn as well. Raboot. Chinchow. Diglett. Everyone has to leave a comment. What's your best pull out of Sword and Shield so far? I presume everyone has um, maybe bought a booster by now. I, th I honestly don't think I've seen more tweets on a release day than I have today. Like, everyone's been tweeting me. They've gone to the shops. They've gone and like bought a bunch of... A couple of people bought booster boxes. You got really good luck there. Some people bought like blisters. You got good luck. What's been your best pull so far? And if you haven't opened a set, are you like, dude, I'm going to do it this week? What are you hoping to get? What have you seen me pull? Are you like, dude, I really want that. Bottle and Hollow. That's not a double on this either. We've already got the card, but as far as this opening goes, it's another fresh one. I'm psyched. I'm really, really excited about this recap. It's probably the best part about doing these is just the gnarly recap at the end. Okay, this is good though. And another white and green. Any moment. It's 100%. It has to happen. Don't you guys agree? You guys are like, put all your positive energy. You've called Arceus on your hot dial number. I know little Timmy's got Arceus on hot dial. And you've let him know that I need none other than a flipping golden Zacian. But you know what? We're going to take a more Pico V, which goes perfectly with our more Pico V Max Golden Pork before. This, this is like the first part. That's how good this is. Okay. I'm getting way too excited, I apologize. Put that there, that makes our six uh, V card. Wow, we really stormed through it. I keep looking at that pile and I see the golden red balloon. I can't, I can't believe we did that so early on. Full up gold card. Just to add like a little mix spicy to it, you know? Hit Mon Lee, got a rare candy, Garuki Gang right there, Shoulder, then we got Galarian Ponida, Chin Chow, Corvic Knight, regular rare. Oh, I just leveled up my Corvic Knight the other day in uh, Sword and Shield in my party. He's an absolute meme machine. I have to live stream Sword and Shield, like, again, just to show you my, like, updated party. I haven't caught every Pokemon. No, I know I need to get the shiny charm. But I'm working towards just, like, having a really boss party and having a unique one. Toasty!
You know you've been recording for ages when your camera literally overheats like Ando, you gotta chill out. We've been recording for like five years now. Anyway, we're back. Okay, I don't know where I was, but let's get back into this uh, card opening. Always happens on the really long ones. None of my camera equipment's really set up to do like marathon long openings. I feel like if you're trying to do a ridiculous amount of boosters, you probably have to connect it to the computer, but all of my stuff sort of set up for the, you know, regular booster box openings. But sometimes when the set comes out and you gotta hunt for a gold card, you gotta tell your camera, you're like, listen here, Jimmy, you gotta work about a couple times a year over time. And today, it's one of those days. Especially when you're getting all regular green cards and I can't seem to find any white and green cards. Okay, fighting type. We got Raboot as well. Oh no, Rooker D. I probably should have cleaned this all up when I was resetting it too. Whatever. Glossfer, Oranguru, and Graplocked. Graplocked is a really cool Pokemon. It's so funny. When I encountered him for the first time, he's like always level 50. And that was just the cap. I couldn't actually like, what is it? The level 50 Pokemon wouldn't listen to me when uh, you catch them. And I was so angry, so I had to beat the gym because I really wanted that Pokemon. He's just such a good looking octopus. I had to have him on party. So now he's in my party. He's like my go-to water type. Got my Cinderace in there as well. Turdinator. And Rillaboom as the Hollow. It's not too bad. I'll take a Rillaboom Hollow for sure. Really popular dude. I'm waiting for them to release like... I just know those starter boxes are going to come soon. Everyone's going to... They're going to release a Rillaboom starter box and everyone's going to lose their mind. Because he's just such a crowd favourite. I know Sobble is the go-to starter, but... As far as final evolutions go... Has to be Rillaboom. Like, no way anyone else took the title out. What is this? What is this? What is this? Yes! Yes! Come on! Oh my gosh, I finally did it! Oh, this is it, guys. This is literally, this is the card that I, I was, like, mainly hunting for. If I could get one of these or a gold sassy and I'm good to go. Finally, Celebi V card is in our possession. Oh my goodness me, that took way longer than I had to. I feel like this is probably the equal chance of any V card, like it's nothing special. Find a friend and line force. Oh, thank you Arceus, I'm so happy we got that. You saw my binder update, like I'm gonna do a binder update I think um, at the end of this because we got so many blank slots we're filling in, but come on. It was so annoying, I had a blank slot on number one, and that's just the worst feeling ever. Nice! So now we got seven V-cards, and we've only got like this stack of boosters, and then we're done for this episode. Oh. Should I do a- I'll do a recap. I'll do a recap at the end of today's episode, sure. I feel like that's only right, show you guys what we pulled. Because we've opened a lot, I don't know, if you guys have been counting how many boosters pa booster packs I've opened, if I can talk, I'd be- I'd be interested. I got a feeling it's 100% more than one booster box. I want to say it'd be around two booster boxes worth. Maybe three? Don't know. I feel like it's a lot. Anyway, let's keep going. There's uh, just giving away 216 codes like it's nothing, whatever. Got a water type here. Perfect for Cramorant just then. Got a Dotler. Then we got Pornaride. Then we got Chinchia, Diglett, Citrus Berry. Corby Knight, regular rare. That's okay. Corby Knight, can't be mad at him. He's a really cool Pokemon. I think we've got about 16 boosters left, guys. And then that's it. Then we're going to pack up the swag and head home. And it's all on tomorrow. What do you guys think? If we don't get it in this episode today, do you reckon it'd be in tomorrow? Or would you write it off? Because if you open one booster box and you have a 3% chance, we've got six. 6 times 3 is uh, 18. Does that mean we've got an 18% chance, or is that the wrong math? I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's go. 4 from the back. I didn't stuff that one up. It was a white and green as well. This could be it. Unlisted Leaf Energy just started off. That's exactly how I started the booster that gave me the Golden Zamazenta. Mudbray, Shoulder Reverse, and then a Tapa Coco V card. It's a V, it's my 8th V card, which I'm really happy about, I'm really psyched, but guys, it's Tapu Coco, and inside I'm hurting eternally. That sucks. But it's also really good. I don't know why. You know, he had such a good run. They're like, I'll give you a bunch of boxes, we'll give you all these GX cards, you can have a couple of EX cards, you can just be everywhere. And now they're like, you know what, let's give him a V card too. 
the fans haven't had an Pokemon are currently running a competition or like a survey, right? They're trying to find out the most popular Pokemon. So they're doing a survey that they're going to announce the results on actual on Pokemon's birthday at the end of the month. I swear, if Tapu Koko is anywhere near the top 25, I might have to just stop playing Pokemon. Surely he hasn't got that many fans. But at the same time, they wouldn't give him this many cards if, like, he didn't have that many fans. Sanaconda Hollow, good, that's a good one. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite terrified, to be honest, because... Hopefully, because, like, if, if Tapu Koko does get a top 25 result, that's going to let the Pokemon company know, Oh, yeah, he's really popular. We should make more V-cards. Let's give Tapu Koko a V-Max Rainbow Rare, because, you know what? Why not? That's something they'd do, 100%. Zigzagoon, we're gonna Mooner as well. Snom, Grookey, Shelter, Cinderace Reverse, and a Cinderace Regular Rare. That's that classic, like, this one's 36, this one's 35. They're both different cards with different artworks, but they're both in the same set. They've done that a lot. There's a, yeah, I think every single starter has three variants of different artworks. Or well, up to three variants. We've got a Fire Type, which sums it up with a white and green code. This could be good. Galvantula, Linoon, Energy Switch, Krabby, Minchino, Ponida. Here we go, Cotney. We're gonna score, buddy. We're gonna Mud Brain Reverse. And then, oh! Come on! I knew we had to be coming up to something right soon. Look at that! Stone Journey, Rainbow Rare, VMAX card. Is that our first one? It is. No way! This is why we're doing bulk opening so we get ridiculous pulls like this. What an insane episode. Gold cards, rainbow cards, Celebi V cards, full art cards. This is epic. Stone Journey, rainbow rare. That is a gorgeous card. Dude, I am psyched. All right, we haven't got this one either. I love Stone Journey. He's a new Pokemon. Got him in the rainbow rare form. Guys, let's keep it going. This marathon is coming to a close. Like, that's all that we have left. I'm just gonna go. And I reckon we're at, like, because I presume this is roughly out of a singular booster box. If I've just pulled it out and had a look at it. I think it's time. Citrus Berry? I think there would be another sneaky pull. A really, really good pull. Like a Hyper Rare? Coming up around this part. Just because we've plucked it all out of one area. Surely. It's gone. You know what? There's that ridiculous Rainbow Rare, but there's going to be another one. There's going to be a sneaky gold card coming up for sure. Poke Kid, this was a white and green boost to everyone. Zigzagoon, Muna, Snom, you're holding on to your underwear. We got Boltland, and then we got Samus into V. Is that trying to tell us something? This is our ninth V card, I think. Is it nine? I've lost track. Samus into V, absolutely amazing pull. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that's trying to hit like Ando. Who's Zamazenta related to? Zacian. What card are you looking for? Golden Zacian. It's coming up in the next white and green booster for sure. The important part is to never lose hope. Flight type energy. Linoon, Rotom Bike, Chinchow, Krabby, Minchino, Ponida, Cotney, Chutel, Graplock, all good in the hood. Next booster. We must be on the final 10 right now. Okay, it's a white and green. This is good, this is good, this is good. That was a really, really flimsy code, which makes me think the card of the back is really heavy right now. Fighting type. Scalarian Stunfisk looking good. Pokemon Center Lady. Mawile. Got a Sobble. And then... Galarian Obstagoon is the holo card. That's alright. We're on this final stretch. The 100 meter sprint. Put that to the side. And it's another white and green. I've just got, I've just got a feeling. It has to, it's coming up, it's coming up. I can do this in one episode. That would be insane. Could you imagine? All it takes is one episode to search for the gold. But as I said, as soon as this episode hits 3,000 thumbs up, we're doing another one. Every single day on the channel, I promise you. I will not stop looking for the gold card. As soon as we hit 3,000 thumbs up in an episode, the next day we're going for another upload. And we are going to find the golden Zassian card. It's definitely not going to escape us, and we're definitely not going to pull too many of those solid green cards. But we do have another list of Leaf Energy with a Seeking. Hitmonchan, Great Ball, Mudbray, Score Bunny as well. Got a Wooloo Reverse, and a Whimsicott Regular Rare. This is not good. Come on, Snorlax. Snorlax full of card as well. That would be another really good one for me to pull. No, we're going to fall from the back. Swing it around with the Unlisted Leaf Energy. 
Got a band, Haunter as well. Thwacky about to play the drums. Baltoy. Then we got Zigzagoon, Muna, Switch Reverse, and a Cramorant. Regular rare. Look, as much as I love my green eyed Cramorant right there, that's still not going to cut the cut. We've got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, the final 10, and this right here is number 10. Gee whiz. We must have cracked open a lot of boosters. Now that I see that that is 10, oh mama. I reckon we're about three booster boxes deep right now. Pharaoh Seed, maybe a bit less, but maybe, I don't know. Pokey Catcher, Claydo. Maybe someone in the comments will let me know. This is the number nine. Snorlax, can you provide the goods? Maybe he can. It is a white and green. Very curious. We've got a dark type energy. Keep in mind, though, there are a lot of gold cards to get in the set. Like, not even just Zamazenta and Zacian. I'm talking about trainers as well. I mean, Shino, Volpix, so... Marnie Hollow card. Everyone wants that rainbow rare Marnie. Holy smokes. That's like... I get tweets so much about that. Andrew, do you know about this card? Have you seen this? Yes, I've seen it. That's another one. Look, looks amazing. Would love to get it. But as I was saying, there's a lot of gold cards. And the fact we've only got one, it does worry me a little bit. Because we're not only trying to get a gold card. We're trying to get a very specific gold card. Zacian. Which makes it even more difficult. Miraculous Reverse. Oh, nice! Dude, another full art. This time, Stone Journey V full art. After we got the Rainbow Rare version. Sick. Look at the background though, orange with lime green and yellow mixing together. The texture on that card is absolutely nuts as well. That is a sick pull. I am so happy with what we got so far. I think we're on the final stretch though, let's keep it going. These right here, what you are watching is like, these are the reasons why you have to go buy Sword and Shield. This is why this is probably the most fun set to like open. For me, dude, I've actually not had this much fun in ages. But I think for you guys especially, it's worth just going out and experimenting, maybe with a couple of boosters. I think you could buy not a lot. You don't have to buy a whole booster box. If you do, you're going to get good stuff, guaranteed. Like, look at this. But even if you buy a couple of boosters, I think your chance of getting something is really, really good. Intellion regular air. All right. We got Lapras time. You should see the pile. The pile of recap is nuts and it's about to get even crazier because we've just got a white and green code card with a psychic type, Hitmonlee, Rare Candy, Lucky Egg, Krabby as well, Garuki, got a Mudbray, Hoot Hoot, then none other. Give me, give me more, give me more, Keldeo V card. Did we double up? I don't... Mmm. Okay, yes, that's a double up, that's what I thought. But you know what? It's a V-card, as I said, brand new set, I do not care. One little bit, it's just showing us there's a lot of potential for good ratios, and that's all I really care about. If I doubled up with the same full art, I would be excited each time because, dude, you gotta keep in mind, a full art's a full art, a V-card's a V-card, and that's still the most amazing thing in the world. If I get the same thing, it just like, it makes a cooler section in the binder. Like, you saw my binders, some of the best pages, I believe, are my ultra rare pages like full arts or gold cards or whatever, that are just a page of the same card, but it's like, it's still an ultra rare card just 10 times over, and that looks really good together. So, couldn't care less, that's fantastic. Put you to the side, here we go, white and green, and then we're on the final four. Yeah, that's it. Dude, I think that's the final four right there, no way. Mantine, Crushing Hammer, Switch, I'm scared, Ball Picks, Bell Toy, what do you think, Chin Chow? Krabby? Got a Corby Knight, and then Hollow Gengar, all good in the hood. Fourth to last one, it's a Zamazenta. This is it. Let's try and do it. Oh no, this is a solid green. It's down to the final three. Lightning type, Quillfish, Pokey Kid, Energy Search. Then we've got Yampa, then Cottony, Shootle, Mushana. Okay, what was this one? It's a Lapras. Lapras been pretty good to us. I can't remember the artwork that we got the gold Zamazenta out of. Oh, I can't. It has to be, yeah, it's like Unlisted Leaf is all I remember. It was the Unlisted Leaf at the front. Lumberry, Mancino, Pointed as well. Cottony, Score Bunny. Then we had an Ordinary Rod Reverse and a Snorlax. All right, Snorlax V. Let's pop you open. Open the doors right there. You go to the side. It's a solid green again. That means... It's literally down to that one last booster and that's it. Dark type, 
Stunfizz, Grihorn, Rookity, Krabby, Grookey, Mudbray, Velocifer. All right, this is it. <sighs> you ready? Final booster of the ridiculous 216 boost back opening, the six booster boxes, an entire case. And ladies and gentlemen, does not disappoint at all. Hold on to your pants. Let's get the gold card. You ready? Fire type. Thwacky. Pokegear. Energy. Blipbug. Rhyhorn. Minchino. Chinchow. Krogunk. And then Teleon Hollow. Wow. Let's do a quick recap though, because this part right here was nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, you were not ready for this recap right here. Look at the amount of V-cards that we got this episode. So if we count it out, I think we end up getting, I reckon it was around, I want to say 12 different holo cards. We'll count it again. But we got a couple of double ups, but a couple of really good ones too. So we got three, four with Frostmoth there, five with Boltland, six with Rillaboom, Seneconda is seven, Obstagoon is eight, Perserka is nine, Gengar 10, Inteleon 11, Marnie 12. Okay, so 12 holo cards, but then we got, get this, 10 separate V cards. I'm not kidding you, 12 holo cards, 10 V cards, it's nuts. Yeah, we did double up on a couple of Vs, but they're all really epic. Keldeo, Sableye, Wabafet, Snorlax, Reggie Rock as well. Doubled up on the Keldeo. Finally, we got the Celebi V. Thank goodness me, that was like, oh, big concern. If I managed to open up all this booster case, we still didn't get the Celebi. I would have cried myself to sleep a lot. But we got Zamazenta V there as our final one. Then we got Full Up Marnie. Already a very, very sought after card. Everyone loves this. In Japanese, the difference between this and the Rainbow Rare version of it, $6. No one really cares. If you just get the full up version, whether it's Rainbow Rare or full color, just get it. This is a valuable card. So Mighty Fuller, amazing. Professor's Research, Fuller, another really sought after card. Very playable. This is nuts. Sa uh, Sableye V card, that is a double up though, if I remember. That's okay. Stone Jonah V Full Art. Another Rip Snorter. Absolute banger. Guard Press. Mega Kick. More Pico V Max with a Rainbow Tornado Swell in the background. Oh, mama, this looks so good. Stone Jonah V Max Full Glitter Card. It is beautiful. But then it only gets upstaged by a Full Golden Air Balloon Red Balloon Gold Card. This is how I'm ending the recap. And this is how I'm ending part number one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't demolished the like button, let me know. Because once we have 3,000, another episode of Search the Gold's coming out. We got more boosters to open tomorrow. Till the next episode, guys. I'll see you then. Keep on gaming. Thanks so much for watching.